Hey everybody, Shep here. Well, today is April 28th, and it's a day that I've been looking forward to. I'm gonna plow the garden, so I've been waiting, been waiting all spring to do this. It's finally dry enough. Uh, we're gonna get some rain this weekend, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, get it turned over, help it dry out some, and to retard the growth of all the weeds on it so <clears throat> so let's get to it okay so I've made four rounds as you can see I wanted to get the plow set up before I started videoing because those first couple passes were a little bit ugly so uh, get you off the tripod here and show for those of you who do not know what I'm doing I'm using my tractor with a moldboard plow and the way a moldboard plow works is you drive, it makes a furrow, and then you put your, tire, your uh, right hand side tire in the furrow, and it literally turns the ground over. So that's what I'm doing.
Well, hopefully you get a good idea how mobile or plow works. So, this right here is a moldboard plow. It's a one bottom plow. Obviously, it has one plow. Uh, back in the day, tractors used to hear people talk about, you know, it was a, a three plow tractor, or four, you know, it could pull four plows. That was kind of, you know, other than horsepower, how they kind of would talk about tractor sizes. Now, this particular plow is a 16 inch bottom which means it cuts 16 inches from right here to right here. The plow shares six, 16 inch swath. So for this garden, which is 50 by 50, I'm going one pass cutting 16 inches at a time. So you can imagine it takes a little bit of time. There are ways, you notice I'm going, I'm going one way and throwing the dirt then backing up and doing it again um, I prefer to back up because you can you can just make a loop around a continuous loop uh, but that gets a bunch of dirt out in the yard and I kind of rather keep it in the garden there are ways you can plow where for instance here where I started I could come back and throw throw it this way that way, you know, you could plow and go like this. Or I could have started here like I did and then go over to the other side of the garden and, and plow up that way, throwing it out. If you do it the first way I talk about, you leave, you know, a, you leave a mound here. And then if you did it the second way, uh, you would leave a, a, a trench here in the middle. And for my size tractor, it's, it really doesn't do well with the, the big furrows and big mounds of dirt. So th this right here is kind of how I want to do it. It takes time, but I don't care. You know, I'm having fun plowing. So the only thing is when I finish, I may go across the ends just to kind of straighten them up. And there's kind of a hump here. This is only the second time I've, I've plowed this piece of ground. But uh, that's kind of how moldboard plow works. So I'm excited to finally be kicking off the uh, 2022 garden season officially. So I'll hopefully be posting some more videos. Uh, the next thing I'll do, like I said, I won't get at this again until uh, hopefully sometime next week. Because it's supposed to rain, supposed to rain this weekend, which is fine with me because it'll... It'll help smooth this out some because although this won't be too bad, this wouldn't be too bad to disc the way it is. But sometimes, sometimes if it all looked like that, God, it would be rough. So, the next thing I'll do is once this, uh, once this dries out again, I will disc it. And I'll probably, probably disc it a couple times and then I can, then I'll be good to plant. But, 